Hello, let's talk about YAML. What is YAML? YAML and markup language, human readable data serialization format, commonly used for configuration file, yes, and different types of structured data storage. So user cases are configuration files. We can find it like Docker Compose, Kubernetes, Deployment Services, and the property files. Uh, it's actually configuration files we use in different uh, def development to read properties. Uh, I use it for Spring Boot applications. We also can use it to share serialize data. Configuration management tools like Ansible. And also to exchange data, we can send data in YAML between services. And we use it for serverless framework like AWS SAM, where we define uh, our functions uh, and uh, environment uh, configuration. We also use it in CI CD in pipeline configuration. So we definitely use it GitHub Action, GCP. Uh, code build uh, we use for code build configuration for triggers uh, AWS we use in code build for configuration we configure steps in GitLab we also use it to configure steps uh, so next what we need to mention the recommended format is YAML but sometimes we also use YAML, uh, it also work. But prefer it, YAML. We have plugins for VS Code, Emacs, Jedit. So actually now we are, I am in VS Code. So let's install here. I we type YAML and we see how much tools, very big, but most useful, I suppose, YAML formatter for Kubernetes. And actually, this is YAML, let's install it. it also, what it do, validation outlining completion after completion control plus space hover support formatter so, and here is okay let's close it and let's open some folder here is YAML next step folder so here is YAML our okay so let's Continue. With uh, our, so we install plugin, so we can uh, check actually validate validate or YAML. But before we start working with YAML, we need to understand what it is. Uh, intendation. Uh, this is very important thing 
because uh, we can use white space or tabs uh, best practices to don't use tabs uh, we can choose number of spaces but uh, probably best practice is to to use two more than eight probably don't make sense and uh, also might be hard to limit you here is uh, recommended number of spice is two we can uh, see this is intendation here is we define property and we need to add one intendation before value uh, here is object in object we have name of our object and two intendation here from this side and each uh, property should have two intendation and one intendation between uh, property and values so also nested se sequence I would like to point out that uh, can be formatted in a compact way so here is sequence the sequence uh, we have one and inside one we have two so this is syntax when we have nested object probably we have two intendation here but here we can replace it by two dashes instead of uh, this okay next uh, let's talk about data structures we have number number float uh, we have boolean type boolean uh, can have all, all these uh, uh, well, uh, values are uh, valid but best practice to use only true or false true true yes or on this is positive false no off this is negative uh, here we also have string type we can write this way in this way but best practice to use only this because uh, this is not uh, strictly defined uh, string uh, string also can has have uh, special ca characters for this purpose we need to use only this kind of uh, so yes uh, special characters cannot be in unquoted strings so we should quote all strings in this way special characters we also have null values we can mark it as tilde or null we also have commands uh, uh, best practice to use command in non-obvious cases, uh, cases because uh, for this uh, object probably we don't need any commands because it is simple and obvious here is object as I mentioned here we have intendation and here we have intendation where between property and values 
So uh, this intendation should be equal between all both properties. Uh, we can also have list inside. List we can write in two ways. They both valid. This weight and this more uh, better to better vis visible. So nested sequence can be compacted in compact weight, which I mentioned in intendation section. Uh, next, uh, we can have objects list. Here is dash syntax, and here we before dash we have two intendation, and after dash we have one intendation, and one intendation after property. name and age okay here is object object has property name and age next uh, multi-line text so we have several lines of text and uh, the syntax is to use the quotes alternatively we can use pipe yeah, so we can define pipe and then line one, line two, and water lines. We can also have long string. Uh, we use this this syntax. Then we write our string, and so let's talk about there is something wrong with our syntax. Uh, dictionary uh, collection of k and value uh, case uh, case are ca case sensitive so looks this string not ended okay so yes here is bad intention where was so I fixed it so here we have our dictionary and we have properties case and values uh, and also additional kind of record this we can write in this way okay, okay and values dictionaries can be nested in lists and vice versa you can have complex structures request this is first set a list is just a string second item is a dictionary Let's talk about tax. Tax. Uh, this is tax to define string type. So this is data type, but it will be interpreted uh, as uh, string. We can define user type. Cut, and it has properties and uh, we can use references uh, references where upper sound is a link where this symbol is a value so we can create link this is link and this is how we can use this link to have the same value okay uh, we need to mention that 
mention that uh, okay somewhat we can have uh, one file yaml file can contain several documents the syntax is to to have three dash here it is three dash uh, next what i would like to point out that uh, we have templates we can create a template with something like a uh, common name which we can uh, substitute by values and uh, reuse this document this is also multi document we have deployment and we have service how we can substitute here is some examples for linux system uh, here we define variable environment variable region and zone and here is loop for loop uh, where we in folder sample app we have cloud build dev and cloud build yaml this is actually for google uh, ci cd and we do on each step in each file we replace this with our region so it should be like us west one and where we have zone we replace with zone variable us west one c in these files and uh, other example is to replace version so we also replace replace this version with version one in this file uh, other kind which i would like to mention uh, with when you use set utility for example we define image it, this is uh, example of image in gcp we have zone region this is docker this is project repository name uh, image name and version image here we have backslash so in this way it doesn't work we have an error we should use this syntax s yes, hashtag uh, what we would like to replace this is word and or variable v value this value so this is will be pasted in in all point where we have this image and here i'll also add not because contains uh, forward slash and uh, pattern delimiter for windows in powershell we can define also variable and uh, this is uh, probably file name in this file name file we replace all inclusions of image with image value and set content
uh, as uh, YAML very uh, shared uh, format, we can work with it in Python. Here is uh, PyAML library which we need to install and here is example to read file we open with op open file and then save templates and then print these templates okay to write to yaml here is example when we have data and something look I missed okay okay so here we use YAML we define data and uh, we open we create sweatemp YAML we at the right and then we write our data then we open the same file and read it. We also can use it in Java. Uh, Java, well, I suppose for all uh, languages we can find examples. Here we need to use shake yaml library and we need to replace path in this code. Read yaml example. We And here we define a p version replicas reception and here is write yum we can write yaml yaml create a mom present and we write that a p version this replica this uh, labels etc validators uh, we can use validators and liters to uh, check or yaml is valid or not yaml lint most popular utilities for security purpose uh, use drone and kubeval validator for kubernetes deployment services and also i sh show you that we have a lot extension for this code and uh, i suppose for all idea you can find uh, yaml <laughs> support utility uh, we can also split files for example we have uh, this file for example config yaml Here we define MySQL, it has property image, ports, environment variables, volumes, and here is volume we add mount. Uh, we can split to MySQL crates and we use here, as I mentioned before, this is syntax for references this is reference great so we add reference default cont con and default con we get property pass so it will be replaced by password db db will be replaced by pb and here is usage of all lin reference in other file uh, next let's talk about test so when we write yaml we can test it in all lang languages i suppose we can test because but here is an example for python so we write what yaml and check that app has version 
one thing and etc. Uh, we have also visual reduct reductors. Uh, let's see to them. So here is YAML editor, code beauty. So input YAML. Let's try to input open or deployment file. Let's try to paste it. So and it shows nested elements and we work us with some part of this YAML. Also we have Q clip driving graphics for Kubernetes. So we can download it and use. What it shows, we can by port using GUI. Here it is. Let's try to find it. Q on line. Here's article. You can see that based on what in YAML leveraging the Kubernetes client and providing more user friendly visual interface using from we can install it and using docker so what we have so when we get commands get ports we can see names of these ports and we can see status Okay. <laughs> that that's all for now. We have are also uh, different tools like uh, YAML lint 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 online so here is validator where we can paste and check it let's add some space and check so it shows us that here multiple documents line 9 column 13 so here we need a turn back and it also become here let's we make another mistake and it doesn't see the problem okay let's make the one and now it's C Let's check. Okay. So it's see. Also, we have tools like uh, YAML to JSON. So there's a lot of. Let's try to convert uh, JSON to YAML. YAML, okay. So 
also here is JSON represent representation <laughs> for this document so you can see that uh, YAML more compact more readable because this is very bad <laughs> to see that's all what I want to show you